Hello children! Welcome to Science 6! I am Teacher Frank. Come on and let's have a ride as we venture into the world of mixtures. Please prepare your module, notebook, and ball pen. Can you still recall the different ways of separating mixtures? I am happy that you can still recall. Yes, we can separate mixtures through sieving, filtering, and hand-picking. Now, can you tell me what method is used in separating the following mixtures? Picture number one. Sieving. If you answered sieving, you are right. It is separating two different sizes of materials. What method is shown in picture number two? Filtration. Yes. The picture shows filtration. It separates liquid from solid using filter. What method is shown in picture number 3? Hand picking. If you answered hand picking, you are correct. Hand picking separates unwanted materials by using your hand. Did you get three correct answers? Good job! If not, you can do better in the next activities. Children, our objective for today is to know how to separate the components of common solid mixtures containing magnetic and non-magnetic materials. Have you already seen a magnet? I am sure it is a yes. An everyday example is a refrigerator magnet. The different refrigerator magnets are awesome! Again, look at this picture! The magnet in this picture attracts magnetic material. A magnet is a piece of material that is able to attract certain metals such as iron, steel, or alloy. A magnet, as defined in Wikipedia, is a material or object that produces a magnetic field. This magnetic field is invisible, meaning it cannot be seen but is responsible for the most notable property of magnet which is a force that pulls on other ferromagnetic materials such as iron and attracts or repels other magnets. How do magnets work? All magnets have north and south poles. Opposite poles are attracted to each other while the same poles repel each other. When you rub a piece of iron along a magnet, the north-seeking poles of the atoms in the iron line up in the same direction. The force generated by the aligned atoms creates a magnetic field. As we go through our lesson, remember to observe the standards on doing an experiment. Go to your working area. Work quietly. Stay focused on task. 
handle the materials properly. Keep your working area clean. You need the following materials. Number one, a mixture of iron fillings and baby powder on a flat container. And number two, magnet. How to do it? First, place the magnet over the mixture. And second, observe what happens. How did you find the activity? Great! What are the different components that were separated by the magnet? Yes, the two components separated by the magnet are talc powder and iron fillings. How were the components of the mixture of talc powder and iron fillings separated? That's right, by using magnet. Components of mixtures can be separated in many ways. The method that is being used usually depends on the type of mixture. Metal and non-metal objects can be separated by using a magnet. There is no chemical reaction involved in the separation of components. Metals, which are made up of alloy, nickel, or cobalt, are easily attracted to the magnet, while non-metals are not. Iron fillings, thumbtacks, staple wire, pins, coins, and needle are some common examples of objects that are attracted to the magnet. When they mix with non-metals, these could be separated by magnet. Children, analyze the objects that are being separated by the magnet and answer the following questions. You will be given 10 seconds to answer. Number 1. What are the two materials that are being separated by magnet in this picture? Iron fillings Yes, iron fillings are separated from the beads using magnet. What about Picture number two. Metals. Certainly, metals are separated from the non-magnetic materials in the dump site. What are the two materials separated by magnet in the third picture? Iron fillings. Good job! Iron fillings are separated from the brown sugar using magnet. Numbers 4 and 5. Which two of the following pictures show materials that can be separated by magnets? Marshmallows, common nails, thumbtacks.
common nails and thumb tucks. You can answer this item in any order. Common nails and thumb tucks are the materials that can be separated using magnet. What is your score? If you get 5, very good. 3 or 4, good. 2 and below, focus more on our lesson. What are the benefits of using magnets in our daily lives? We can use magnets to easily and fastly get and separate the non-magnetic particles from magnetic particles or materials. Alright, let's have our final activity. Understand each statement or question and write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. You will be given 10 seconds to answer. All set? Let's start! Number 1. Metal and non-metal objects can be separated by using a A. Filter B. Magnet C. Sieve or D. Water B. Metal and non-metal objects can be separated by using a magnet. Number 2. How will you separate mixture of metal and non-metal objects? A. By decantation B. By winnowing C. By using a magnet or D. By evaporation C. We can separate mixture of metal and non-metal objects by using magnets. Number 3. Needle in sawdust can be separated by means of A. Decantation B. Magnetic separation C. Filtration D. Sifting B. Needle in sawdust can be separated by means of magnetic separation. Number 4. How will you separate mixture of staple wire and chalk powder? A. By decantation B. By winnowing C. By using a magnet D. By evaporation C. We can separate mixture of staple wire and chalk powder by using magnet. And number 5. Mrs. Crew's needle was mixed with bits of paper. How will she separate the needle safely from the bits of paper? A. By decantation B. By winnowing C. By using a magnet D. By evaporation C. Mrs. Cruz can separate the needles safely from the bits of paper by using a magnet. What is your score? If you get 5, very good. 3 or 4, good. 2 and down, please study more. Children, you have learned how to separate the components of common solid mixtures containing magnetic and non-magnetic materials. Congratulations, children! You have just reached the end of our session. You can review this video through our YouTube channel. Search Adult TV, Dep and Leite, 
click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get the latest updates. I hope you enjoyed and learned from what we have discussed today. This is Teacher Fran reminding you that what you think is what you attract. So, attract great ideas. See you next time. Goodbye!